Good morning and welcome to another devotional in the Good Morning Lord devotional series. Today we're going to be talking about how the Lord is wanting an intimate relationship with you. We find through the scriptures that he's our shepherd, our friend, and our counselor. And these all denote that God wants to be close to you. He wants to be there for you. We're all familiar with Psalm 23, verse 1, which says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. When you think about this, when we see the Lord as our shepherd, we shall not want. Because in this we can be content. When you think about a shepherd and what his job is, it's to guard the sheep, it's to take care of the sheep. And the shepherd is with his sheep 24-7. He does not leave them day or night. And that's the way God is with us. He is our shepherd. He's with us day and night. He takes care of our needs. He takes care of even some of the things that we want. Uh, he, we don't go without. And this is a way that God has shown us that he wants to be there for us, that he wants to take care of us. He is our shepherd. In Psalm 103, in Psalm 100, verse 3, it says, Know you that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made you and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. God has made us. And he knows us better than we know ourselves. He knows us better than anybody else could know us. And sometimes... You know, the thought that God knows us so well, we don't like that. We, we kind of, you know, we're, we're in apprehension of that. We're afraid of that. But no matter how we feel about that, it doesn't take away from the truth that God does know us. And we should have great comfort in knowing that, you know, who we are, the things that we do, the things that um, we've done, there's forgiveness in that. But it also shows that God, even though we are who we are, God loves us. And he desires, no matter what, to take care of us and to be there for us. This is a shepherd. This is one who wants to protect us and, and give us what we need. So he is your shepherd. He is your guide. He is your guard to keep you from the enemy, to keep you from evil. So if we continue to look to him, he will be there for us. The scriptures also tell us that he's our counselor. The definition of counselor is one who gives advice in a helpful manner. One who gives direction, encouragement, and guidance. Does God do this for us? He sure does. His word gives direction in his past, guidance in his ways, and encouragement in his promises. God does give us counsel through his word. We just need to take the time to read and to listen. God has great blessings for those that obey him and follow him. And of course, we as humans, we don't like to obey. We don't like to submit. But in the long run, we learn and we know that this is God's way. And he's not, he doesn't want us to obey and to submit because he wants to be some great ruler over us who just wants to keep us in bondage, who you know, wants to keep us as a slave. But no, rather, when we obey Christ, when we obey God, we have freedom, we have joy, we have peace. So in obeying God and obeying his ways, he's our counselor, he's our friend, he's our shepherd. Psalm 16, 7 says, I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My heart also instructs me in the night season. So we bless the Lord. We praise him. We give him thanks. We, we just shout out to him. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for directing me. And no matter what we do, if we have gone off the path of the Lord, all we have to do is call out to him again and say, Lord, forgive me and He'll bring you back into his past. He brings you back into his pasture to be that shepherd, to be that counselor. In Job 12, 13, we read, With him is wisdom and strength. He has counsel 
and understanding. If we truly want right counsel, then we will seek God through his word. A lot of times counseling, you know, it's a bad thing. You know, who wants counseling? There's nothing wrong with me. Well, the Bible says we're all sinners. Of course, there's something wrong with this. But it's not a bad thing because God is there for us. God is with us. And we need direction. We need guidance. We need for him to show us who we are and what he wants us to do. The scriptures tell us that he is our friend. A friend, according to Webster's Dictionary's definition, is a person who you like to be with and enjoy. A person who helps or supports something or someone. One attached to another by affection or esteem. When you think of these definitions, when you think of a person as your friend, can you think of the Lord? Can you think of the Lord as someone that you enjoy being with? Because he enjoys being with you. Can you think of the Lord as someone who wants to be with you, walk with you? Because he desires this. He wants to be your friend. Abraham was called the friend of God because he obeyed God. And when we realize that God is there for us, that God will direct us, he, that he wants to be our friend, we can enjoy the company and the presence of the Almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth. On our part, it just takes time to come before him in prayer, to come before him in the study of his word, and to seek to be in his presence. He is there for us all the time. God wants to be these, these things for us, and he will be. In Proverbs 17, 17, it says, A friend loves at all times. Is this not God? He has already showed us through salvation, through the giving of his son, that he loves us. And yet, it doesn't stop there. That's just the beginning. He wants to be with us all the time. In a true friendship, you know, there's allow there's allowance to make mistakes. There's allowance to uh, be offended because we're not perfect. And even those we love and even those we're close to, we will offend at times. Uh, we will hurt at times. But a true friend will welcome you back when there's forgiveness, when there's reconciliation. And that's what God does for us every single time. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So God, even though he's the almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth, the maker of you, the maker of me, he wants to be our shepherd. He wants to guide us. He wants to guard us. He wants to be our counselor who gives us help and direction in times that we need it. And he wants to be our friend. He wants to walk with us. He wants us to talk with us through his word, through his Holy Spirit. And he wants to be there for us in every situation. He wants to enjoy our good times and, and comfort us in the bad times. God can be those things for us. Take the time to seek him each and every morning, each and every day. So that you can experience God as your counselor, as your shepherd, as your friend. I hope these words have been an encouragement to you. Continue to seek the Lord and he will show you and he will guide you along the way and the things that he has for you. God bless you and we'll talk to you again.